much warning. Strong shaking expected in 15 seconds. This is just a test. Strong shaking expected in 8 seconds. But a very important one. Scientists in California have a prototype system in place to give a heads up ahead of earthquakes. So what can you do with a few seconds warning? Well, the most obvious for the average citizen is to drop, cover, and hold on. Caltech and the United States Geological Survey are developing the earthquake early warning system. So if you can detect the earthquake very quickly as it begins, you can send warning ahead of the most damaging waves. Here's how it works. Seismographic sensors detect the epicenter of the shaking. They then deliver electronic data to a central network faster than the shock waves travel out. The system then calculates how soon the shaking will start. Depending on your distance from the earthquake, you get anywhere from zero to up to a minute's warning. Think of it this way. When lightning strikes, you see the flash before you hear the crack of thunder. The system operates under the same idea. A similar alert network warned the Japanese ahead of the 9.0 Tohoku earthquake in March. It alerted public transport to stop. It beamed text messages across cell phone networks. TV and radio stations broadcasted people should seek cover. Had a system been in place ahead of the Virginia earthquake in August, Washington, D.C. would have had 30 seconds notice that a tembler would strike. You know, every so often we say, gosh, you know, if there were earthquakes in Washington, D.C., the federal funding levels might be better. And there lies the problem. Right now, only a network of American scientists get the early warnings because they need millions to build a bigger system. Deputy Mayor Eileen Decker handles security and disaster preparedness for Los Angeles. Finding the funding for new projects is certainly a challenge, yet at the same time, this is a very important project to undertake. She says the city is trying to raise its own capital for the warning network with private businesses. There was a great deal of enthusiasm for moving this forward because also from a business perspective, it's a sound investment. The USGS estimates it will take about $80 million of investment to build a statewide shake alert system. Well, I hope that it doesn't take uh, a big killer earthquake in the U.S. to get it in the United States. A drop in the bucket, researchers say, compared to what could be much more in damages. John Moe, Associated Press, Pasadena, California.